write this is problem 516, and we like to find the reactions at the support for this pole. This pole is supported by a ball and socket over here. It's supported by this core and is supported by a wall. So it has three support. First step is always to check out our, our, our coordinate system. We have one and then do the free body diagram. So let's do our free body diagram over here of our pole. So uh, we said that we have a ball and socket at A. A ball and socket is a support that restricts only translations. It does not restrict any rotation. Therefore, what is restricted, it, produce, so it produces reactions. So since we have restricted all the displacements and not the rotation, we get AX, we get AY, and we get AC. Now the wall, this pole is to the plane YC. So the reaction is perpendicular to that plane. The direction perpendicular to that plane is X. Therefore, I have a normal force, and I will add that it's in X to make sure we understand that even though this is a three-dimensional, it's difficult to see, this reaction is parallel to X axis. And finally, we have our tension of that core. That tension, very important that the direction of this normal is known because it's supporting the wall, so therefore it goes in the opposite direction of the wall, right? And the core is also have a direction that is known because it's pulling. A core never push. I have seen many free body diagrams in exams of students that put attention pushing. That's not possible. So that will be an error. And then we have our active forces, which is the weight, right? The weight will be located at the middle of my, my paw, which is, and the weight is given, right? The weight, it says that it has a mass of 20 kilograms and therefore the weight will be that mass multiplied by the gravity and in newtons. So that's our free body diagram. Now that we have the free body diagram, let's first get the directions of all the forces to make sure that we have everything we need. Directions of forces and reactions, right? Obviously, A, A, X, A, Y, and A, C, we know that are in X, Y, and C. Now, the, the, the normal is in X. The one that we want to find the direction is the chord. We have the, we have the dimension, so we can find this angle over here, right? Because if you see that in that plane, that will be 1, and that will be 0 0.5. So this angle over here, so this will be square root of 1 plus square uh, 1.05. That's equals to square root of 1.25, right? Okay, so we can say that that tension will be a unknown magnitude cosine in negative direction cosine of that angle, which let me call it theta, cosine of theta in j plus sine of theta in k. That means that is tension, and we can already write that this is cosine will be 1 over square root of 1.25 in j, negative, plus 0 0.5 over 1.25 in K. So we have that direction, and the other directions are all known. So therefore, let's start with our equations of equilibrium. We add forces in X, 
And next we have AX plus that force in AX equals zero. So that will be our first equation, right? The second equation will be adding forces in Y. Forces in Y, I have AY, and then I have the tension, the component of the tension that is in Y. So that will be negative tension over square root of 125. And I do not have any other force, so this is my second equation. My third equation will be forces in C, right? In C, I have AC, and I have negative the weight, and I have positive the component of the tension, which is 0 0.5 square root of 125, and that's equals to zero. So those are my three equations that come from adding forces. Now I, I have to take the moment. So what I'm going to do is take moment respect to point A and divide that e vector equation of the moment in three equations. So I will take the summation of all moments at A and which forces produce moment at A. So I have to find where this weight is located. Point G is at the middle of the bar. So it will be located at a half of 1.5, half of 0, so they will be located at 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and the high will be 1. Okay, so I can say that my vector, my, my moment will be this vector, which is A to G, cross the weight, right, plus which other forces produce moment? the moment that proves in A, I'm going to write A, B, cross N, X, plus also R, A, B, cross the tension, right? The tension. So I have those three that I have to produce. You see that those two are the same, so I can put them together. So, and nothing else, so let me continue calculating that moment. Let me move a little bit so that I can have enough space. So this one over here will be equals to I, J, K. This vector, we already say that this is in X will be negative 0 0.75. In Y will be 0 0.5. And in K will be 1. And the weight is this multiplication right here, so it will be 0, 0, minus 196.2. Now I have these two. I will put them together because they have the same vector, right? The same distance to, to both. So I will just put one vector, which is then in x it will be 1.5, negative because I'm going from a to b. In j will be 1 and 2. That's perfect. In x, I will add those two together. In x, the tension do, does not have any component in x, so I have only in x. Then I have my component for j, which is negative tension divided by the square root of 125, and then the y component, which is tension times 0 0.5 divided by square root of 1.5, which is this component right here. I have to do those multiplications, and I have them right here, and I will write them already as equations in I, J, K, right? So save a little bit of space because I don't have that much. So in I, I have 0 0.5 square root of 1.25 T plus 2 t divided by 1.25 minus 98.1 equals to 0. So that's my fourth equation. 
in J, I have 0 0.75 divided by square root of 1.25 t plus 2n x minus 147.50. That's my fifth equation. And then uh, finally in K, I have 1.5 divided by 1.25 t minus n x equals to zero. Five, six. Of course, this is a system of five unknowns and six equations. So I actually have one more that it just give me the same result. So solving the system of equations, I get the results. Please solve the system and you will find out the so tension is equals to, I already rounded to the first decimal. Fifty-eight point nine, they are equal, as you see here, they are equal. And one is negative to the other one, so this is negative. AY is equals to 39.2 and AC is equals to 176.6 newtons. So those are the result of solving the system of equations.